We're going to get right into it today. Let's cover as many actual exam questions as possible in 27 minutes. When an owner of land refuses to sell his land to the government or any governmental agency under the right of eminent domain, the process used to require the owner to sell his land is condemnation, probate, escheat, foreclosure. The answer is condemnation. If the owner and the government cannot agree on the compensation, the government can initiate condemnation action to take the property under its right of eminent domain. Which of the following government rights permits the state to take ownership to land left by a person with no divisies or heirs? Eshit. Police power. Eminent domain. Estapo. The answer is Eshit. Eshit is the reversion of the property to the government in cases where the decedent dies intestate, and there are no heirs capable of inheriting the property or when the property is abandoned. All of the following are a type of zoning control except Restricting height of buildings Restricting the area that a building may occupy Regulating land use Providing for control of rents The answer is providing for control of rents. Rent control is not a zoning matter. A zoning ordinance is a easement, restriction, lien, reservation. The answer is restriction. A restriction is a limitation on the use or enjoyment of property. Private restrictions are created by means of restrictive covenants or conditions placed in written instruments by private parties. Public restrictions are created by means of zoning ordinances. A subdivision has a restrictive covenant prohibiting the erection of any fence beyond the front corners of the dwelling house. A property owner erects a chain-link fence that completely encloses his front yard. Can he be forced to remove the fence? No, it does not violate the zoning laws. No, the covenant restriction is unreasonable. Yes, it violates a recorded restrictive covenant. Yes, it violates zoning laws. The answer is yes, it violates a recorded restrictive covenant. The more restrictive rule must be followed, which in this case is the covenant. A special permit that is issued to allow a land use normally in violation with current zoning is called a modification, variance, nonconforming use, amendment. The answer is variance. A variance is permission to build a structure or conduct a use that does not strictly conform to current zoning law. All of the following are used in municipal planning except Building codes Housing codes Subdivision covenants Subdivision regulations The answer is subdivision covenants. Subdivision covenants are created by developers, not the governing body. When a zoning regulation permits a specific use of a property, but a private restriction contained in the deed limits that use of the property, the one that would prevail is the Zoning law Deed restriction Building restriction Master plan The answer is deed restriction. Whenever there are restrictions on a property, the one that is most restrictive has priority. As part of urban planning, areas are planned to provide separation between residential areas and areas zoned as industrial. What are these areas called? Protective zoning. Buffer zones. Spot zones. Setback areas. The answer is buffer zones. A buffer zone is a strip of land separating one land use from another. Zoning ordinances control the use of private land through several kinds of restrictions. All of the following are zoning restrictions except Nonconforming uses Building height limitations 
Designation of land area that the building may occupy. Setback requirements for buildings. The answer is non-conforming uses. Non-conforming uses are a result of zoning, not a requirement of zoning. Zoning is done by authority of the mayor, petition, police power, the law of eminent domain. The answer is police power. The government has police power, the inherent power of a government to adopt or enforce laws and regulations to promote and support the public health, safety, morals, and general welfare of an area. Examples of this are licensing laws, zoning regulations, building codes, etc. Land use controls are an example of the application of a government's power of eminent domain, police powers, power of escheat, power of taxation, The answer is police powers. Land use control falls under police powers. The primary justification for a zoning ordinance is to control the quality of building construction, prevent an oversupply of specified types of business enterprises within a zoned area, protect the public health, safety, and general welfare of an area, maintain conformity in the physical requirements of a building in a zoned area. The answer is to protect the public health, safety, and general welfare of an area. The government has police power, the inherent power of a government to adopt or enforce laws and regulations to promote and support the public health, safety, morals, and general welfare of an area. Examples of this are licensing laws, zoning regulations, building codes, etc. Zoning ordinances usually cover such matters as deed restrictions, baselines, setback lines, Prescription. The answer is setback lines. Setback lines establish the amount of land required surrounding improvements. They are the amount of space required between the lot line and the building line. Setback lines can be created by zoning and by deed restrictions. Taxation is set by county or local law. One of the government's rights set by federal law, set by state law. The answer is one of the government's rights. Taxation is a right of government. Taxes are paid at all levels of the government, federal, state, county, and local. The primary source of general revenues on which local governments operate are normally income taxes, business taxes, property taxes, special assessment taxes. The answer is property taxes. Property taxes are the primary source of revenue. Special assessment taxes are used for specific projects and typically do not generate revenue. All of the following are true of special assessment taxes except assessed on a front foot basis paid by only those who benefit from the improvements, paid in installments over a period of years, collected in full upon completion of the improvements. The answer is collected in full upon completion of the improvements. Ad valorem means, according to valuation, at one value, added value, without value. The answer is according to valuation. The assessed or ad valorem value is used by the tax assessor to set property values for taxation. The value of property as established by the assessor for the purpose of determining taxes is called all of the following except taxable value, ad valorem value, market value, Assessed value.
The answer is market value. Assessed value may or may not be equal to market value. Assessed, taxable, and ad valorem value are all used to establish taxes due. Which of the following will have Lian priority? Mortgage Lian for $50,000 recorded April 10th. Property taxes recorded May 15th. Mortgage Lian for $200,000 recorded March 30th. A special assessment Lian recorded April 30th. The answer is property taxes recorded May 15th. Property taxes take priority over all other liens, even special assessments recorded before the property tax lien. The rate of taxation expressed as thousandths of a dollar is called the mill rate, assessed, ad valorem, value. The answer is mill rate. The mill rate is the rate of taxation used with the taxable value to determine property taxes. The two categories of taxes on real estate property are ad valorem and special assessment taxes, sales taxes, personal property taxes, income taxes, The answer is special assessment taxes. Income tax is a tax on money earned, not real estate. Personal property is taxed separately from real property. Sales tax is a tax on personal property that is purchased. Which of the following liens has the highest priority? Property tax liens. IRS tax liens. Mortgage liens. Mechanics liens. The answer is property tax liens. Property taxes take priority over all other liens, no matter when the liens were recorded. A parcel of real property had subdivision restrictions placed against it in 1940. These deed restrictions prohibit the sale of the property to anyone of the Caucasian race. By the terms of these deed restrictions, they were to expire in 1996. These deed restrictions were invalid because they were filed prior to 1964. Valid until 1996. Valid because they were filed in 1940. Invalid, even if the owner agreed. The answer is invalid, even if the owner agreed. Deed restrictions that prohibit use by persons based on race, religion, sex, national origin, etc. are unenforceable regardless of when they were created. A money judgment of the court, when recorded, always becomes a Special lien. Superior lien. Involuntary lien. Equitable lien. The answer is an involuntary lien. Liens that are created by the agreement of the parties are voluntary liens. A mortgage, therefore, is a voluntary lien. It only exists if the borrower agrees to offer his or her property as security for repayment of the loan. Liens created by operation of law, such as property tax liens, special assessments, judgment liens, and construction liens, are involuntary. A judgment lien covers all property of the debtor and would, therefore, be a general lien, not a special lien. An easement appurtenant cannot be terminated, may be terminated by the servient tenement, may be terminated by the dominant tenement, will be terminated if abandoned by the servient tenement. The answer is may be terminated by the dominant tenement. An easement may be terminated when the owner of the easement releases his interest by means of a quitclaim deed. It may also be terminated by merger, by voluntary abandonment by the owner of the dominant estate, by the easement being taken by eminent domain, by loss by prescription or adverse possession, by expiration of the time period set for the easement, by cessation of the purpose for which the easement was created, by eminent domain, or by non-use for a period established by state statute. Note, the easement can be terminated by the dominant tenement, but not by any action of the servient tenement, since it is irrevocable. An easement appurtenant is removed when the holder of the servient tenement sells the property, runs with the land, is limited to one year by federal regulation, a is a personal right of the grantee.
The answer is runs with the land. All encumbrances are liens. Something that passes with the title to land is said to run with the land. The easement appurtenant runs with the dominant estate. It is not affected at all by the actions of the holder of the servient tenement. A property has a recorded easement. The seller fails to mention the easement when she sells the property. Which of the following is true? The buyer has the right to terminate any unwanted easement. The seller retains the easement. The easement is automatically removed at the time of the sale. The easement transfers with the property and will show as an encumbrance in the title work. The answer is the easement transfers with the property and will show as an encumbrance in the title work. Recorded documents are public record that will be reflected in the title work. The seller does not need to disclose such items. Since the buyer is expected to review all these documents as part of constructive notice, easements transfer with the sale and may not be revoked or removed by the buyer or seller. All of the following statements concerning an appurtenant easement are true except It must be a burden on one property and a benefit to another. It must involve adjoinment of the properties at their respective boundary lines. The properties must have different owners. It must be transferable. The answer is it must involve adjoinment of the properties at their respective boundary lines. To have an easement appurtenant, there must be a servient tenement being used and a dominant tenement with the right to use. These properties must be owned separately. The easement runs with the dominant tenement. There is no requirement that these two properties be adjoining. For example, an easement may run over five parcels. The owner of the fifth parcel and from the road could have an easement over the other four even though adjoining only one of them. An easement appurtenant to real property can be terminated by all of the following except Revocation by the servient owner. Prescription by the servient owner. Release by the dominant tenement owner. Merger of both the servient and dominant parcels. The answer is revocation by the servient owner. The servient estate is burdened by the easement. Because the easement is irrevocable, it cannot be terminated due to inconvenience or hardship on the owner of the servient estates. An easement may be terminated when the owner of the easement releases his interest by means of a quitclaim deed. It may also be terminated by merger, by voluntary abandonment by the owner of the dominant estate, by the easement being taken by eminent domain, by loss by prescription or adverse possession, by expiration of the time period set for the easement, by cessation of the purpose for which the easement was created, or by non-use. The servient owner cannot revoke the easement. Which of the following has priority of claim over previously recorded trust deed? Judgment lien. None of these. Unpaid property taxes. Divorce decree. The answer is unpaid property taxes. Usually, lien priority is based on the date of recording. Exceptions are construction liens, which have priority based on the date work starts, and property taxes, which have top priority regardless of anything else. Deed restrictions are considered to be encumbrances, enforceable only by the property's owner, general liens, constructive notice, The answer is encumbrances. An encumbrance is anything binding on real property that may burden or impair the use of the property. A deed restriction is one type of encumbrance. An owner conveys property to the buyer for as long as it is used as a library. The buyer has a leasehold, qualified fee estate, remainder, fee simple, The answer is qualified fee estate. A condition is a restriction that provides that the estate will or may be lost if the restriction is violated. When the estate is lost, it reverts to the grantor or his or her heirs. Telephone, power, and gas line easements are examples of easements in gross, servian easements, easements by prescription, dominant easements,
The answer is easements and gross. Telephone, power, and gas line easements are easements and gross, as they belong to the companies rather than to the land owned by the companies. They are commercial because they belong to companies for commercial purposes rather than to individuals, for private purposes. The owner of a condominium and the lessee of an apartment have many things in common but their legal relationship with the property is different. With respect to their similarities, both parties would hold a non-freehold interest, a state of inheritance, the state and real property, fee interest, The answer is an estate in real property. The condominium owner and the lessee each have estates in real property. The condominium owner's estate is a fee estate. The lessee's interest is a less than freehold estate. A plat map is used in which type of legal description? Rectangular survey. Lot and block. Meets and bounds. Street and number. The answer is lot and block. The lot and block method identifies land by reference to lot and block numbers appearing on maps and plats of recorded subdivided land e.g. lot 6, block 7, sunset subdivision. In the rectangular survey method, units of one square mile are called quarter sections, townships, ranges, sections. The answer is sections. A section is one mile by one mile or one square mile. A township contains 640 acres, 640 sections, more than 10,000 hectares, 36 square miles. The answer is 36 square miles. A township is 6 miles by 6 miles and, therefore, contains 36 square aisles. A section has 640 acres. All of the following methods of describing property are considered to be sufficient legal description of for a deed except. Street name and number. Meets and bounds. Recorded plat map. Government survey. The answer is street name and number. While property addresses have been found acceptable by courts determining the validity of a deed, they really are not considered adequate, since they do not describe the boundaries and they can change. Therefore, legal descriptions based on a survey should be used. As a reference on a listing, street addresses are adequate. The legal description method that uses a point of beginning and monuments is the rectangular survey, government survey, lot and block description, meets and bounds description, The answer is meets and bounds description. Meets and bounds is the method of describing land by specifying the shape and boundary dimensions using terminal points and angles. The main north and south line in a government survey from which townships are located is called a monument, principal meridian, range line, township line. The answer is principal meridian. The country west of the Mississippi River has been surveyed based on principal meridians through the area. In Oregon and Washington, all government survey descriptions are based on a principal meridian, running north-south, called the Willamette Meridian. All range lines are parallel to this meridian and are numbered consecutively east and west of this meridian, i.e., R1E, R2E, R1W, R2W, etc. The column of townships running north and south is numbered according to its distance from the principal meridian, and is referred to as ranges, tracks, checks, tiers. The answer is ranges. All the land between range lines is referred to as a range. All land between the meridian and range line 1 is in range 1. Land between range line 1 and range line 2 is in range 2. In what corner of a township would you find section 1? Southeast corner, northeast corner, southwest corner, northwest corner.
The answer is the northeast corner. Sections are numbered snake-like, starting with one in the knee corner of the township. What are the east-west rows of townships called? Parallels. Tiers. Ranges. Sections. The answer is tiers. East-west rows of townships are bounded by township lines. Land between the township lines is referred to as townships or tiers. All land between the baseline and township line. The primary survey line running east and west in the rectangular survey is a range line, township line, baseline, principal meridian. The answer is baseline. In Oregon and Washington, all government survey descriptions are based on a principal meridian, running north-south, called the Willamette Meridian. All range lines are parallel to this meridian and are numbered consecutively east and west of this meridian, i.e. R1E, R2E, R1W, R2W, etc. In addition to a meridian, each legal description in the government survey is based on a baseline. This is a line that runs east-west. Township lines are parallel to and are numbered consecutively north and south of this line, i.e. T1N, T2N, T1S, T2S, etc. Appurtenances refer to Encumbrances on the use of the property Proposed easements Those rights that go with the land Contractual limitations The answer is those rights that go with the land. An appurtenance is something belonging to something else, e.g., rights that belong to the land. An appurtenance is part of the real property and passes with it when the property is sold or otherwise transferred. A contract for the sale of real property includes the sale of certain removable items, such as refrigerators and furniture. Upon payment and delivery of the deed, the seller should also deliver a chattel mortgage, bill of sale, estoppel certificate, Satisfaction piece. The answer is bill of sale. The bill of sale is the document used to transfer title to personal property. A trade fixture is an easement, real property, both real and personal property, personal property. The answer is personal property. Trade fixtures are personal property and belong to the tenant. The tenant may remove the item when the lease expires as long as he or she repairs any damage caused by removal. Generally, the tenant is allowed a reasonable time after the lease expires to have all trade fixtures removed before they are considered abandoned and become property of the landlord. 